What is up everyone? My name is Roy. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to be talking about minimalism. Minimal. Minimum. Mini. What? More specifically, why minimalism just kind of sort of sucks. But first, hit the subscribe button as well as that bell icon to turn on notifications for this channel if you are feeling entertained. Now, just because you have too much stuff and not enough space in your apartment doesn't mean that minimalism is for you. Just because you're stressed out and lost in life and unable to focus does not mean minimalism is for you. Minimalism is an extreme solution to most people's minor problems. Statistically speaking, there's a 99.999% chance that minimalism is not for you. Did I just make that up? Yes, I did. But when I say it like this, it becomes more believable. But first, I'm not gonna define minimalism any more than this. So you own less stuff, you simplify your life, and you become more happy. I assume that since you clicked on this video, you already know the extreme intricacies of what minimalism is, but here's why it sucks and here's why it's not for you. Number one, you don't even know what minimalism means because every book, every blog, every YouTube video describes something different. There is a wide range of definitions of minimalism that all can't exist. They all can't coexist together. That's a telltale sign that you're onto some BS stuff right there. Basically, to do it right and be minimalist, you have to become a nomad. You own only the bare essentials to life, which depending on your lifestyle could be really, really interesting or really, really boring. Number two, it's a stupid fad. Like so many things in life, you're gonna get over it. You got past fidget spinners, you got past the Harlem Shake, you got past the ice bucket challenge. Except this time with minimalism, once you're over it, there's not gonna be anything left. You're gonna have a white t-shirt and a coffee mug and you're not even gonna have a coffee table to put that mug on. Number three, it's a constant mind game of seeing something that you like and analyzing if you're even allowed to have it. You have to justify everything in your life. And that sounds fun. Just liking something and wanting something isn't enough. For something that is supposed to simplify your life, minimalism sounds like you have to do an awful lot of thinking to make a simple purchase. Number four, you're probably going to be the only one in your friends and family like this. So do you really want to explain yourself over and over again why your life is empty of material things? I'm all for being unique and being you, but there are other ways to do it and, and feel healthy. Plus, to be blunt, like, you're just going to look poor, like straight up poor, like poor. Number five. Owning lots of stuff does not prevent you from self-discovery and digging into your soul. Minimalism seems to suggest that you can't properly manage your life with all these extra things. But I'm sorry, I don't sit there and get angry at my seven pillows for mind blocking me from discovering sustainable, true happiness. In fact, I'm probably happier when I'm surrounded in a cocoon of my seven pillows and in my gorgeous sleep that they let me have. Number six, I certainly don't promote a hoarder's lifestyle despite my own hoarding tendencies of keeping years of old magazines and ripped underwear and empty plastic bottles. Throwing out old trash is good. Donating old clothes is good. Cleaning and decluttering is good, but none of that is minimalism, so don't get confused. Minimalism is deprivation. Minimalism is discomfort. In short, unless you're a bird, minimalism is not for you. Number seven, I like shopping. I like tchotchkes. I like the memories that they trigger in me. I like new technologies. I like new phones. I like having different colognes. I like having choices, but these behaviors are incompatible with minimalism if you cannot justify their existence in your life. It is a totally unnecessary mind game. Number eight, you will 100% get rid of stuff that you need. Do I need an ice cream scoop? Actually, yes I do. I need two. I need a big one and I need a small one in case I wanna make little tiny cookies. Do I need two World Book Atlases? 
Absolutely, because I love maps. They bring me joy and I look at them, I like the paper that they're printed on, the internet cannot replace that. Now, in order to convert to minimalism, you have to get rid of probably 80 to 90% of your belongings. That is, it's traumatizing. You will totally have regrets down the road when you realize that you threw all of your old t-shirts away and now you have nothing to sit around and be a slob in. In summary, I'm sorry to say, minimalism is just a fad. It's not even an exciting fad, it's, it's boring. Like by definition, it's literally boring. It's unneeded self deprivation that actually will do nothing to clarify your mind. It will probably just drive you totally insane. When you think about it, your home, the place that you live is more than just four walls and a roof. A home is made up of all the things that you have in it. And without these things, you're just living in a plain white box. How can anyone remotely find that attractive? Now guys, if you like this video, please like and share it with a friend. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time.